Dizantrine is a small molecule chemotherapy drug for cancer. It was actually developed by an American pharmaceutical company called Ledley in the 1980s. Unfortunately, Ledley became entangled in a series of big pharmaceutical mergers and effectively the drug disappeared. And when the original patent expired, it became essentially an orphan owned by no one. So race oncology was established to rescue Byzantrine and bring this valuable drug to market. We have two uh, international patent applications on Byzantrine, and we have orphan drug designation in the United States, which gives us seven years of commercial exclusivity in that important market. There's a wealth of clinical data on Byzantrine. More than 40 clinical studies were conducted on this drug during the 1980s and 1990s. Some of those studies showed that it had great promise in acute myeloid leukemia, or AML. So that's going to be our primary indication for Byzantrine. AML is a very difficult to treat uh, blood cancer, and the, uh, the treatment of this disease and the medical need haven't changed appreciably in more than 30 years. So Byzantrine is just as relevant now, if not more so, than it was 30 years ago. Fortunately, because of its extensive clinical development, most of the data that we need for Byzantrine is already in our hands. We believe now that all we'll need to do is to complete a, a clinical registration study in the US, after which we'll be able to apply for marketing approval in the US, and that would act as a springboard for marketing in other countries around the world. In the meantime, we've uh, recently uh, completed uh, production of uh, Byzantrine, and uh, that will position us well to start the clinical trial in the US sometime next year, perhaps. While completing the US clinical study, the clinical study in the US to gain registration there, we intend to make Byzantrine available on a compassionate use basis to clinicians for use with patients who've exhausted all other treatment options. In certain countries, it's actually possible to recover one's costs or even generate revenues. Subject to the appropriate approvals, we hope to start such a program in Europe over the next 12 months. We believe there are other drugs like Byzantrine that have been left behind or overlooked, especially as a result of big pharma mergers. In some cases, these drugs can meet important medical needs, even if they're too small for big pharma. They could be of great interest to race oncology. So we'll be looking at some of these opportunities over the next 12 months. I think the next 12 months will be very exciting for race. First of all, we will be filing our IND, Investigational New Drug Application in the US, to enable us to start the pivotal clinical study for US approval. Uh, but secondly, we will be making Byzantrine available uh, through our compassionate use program to clinicians to give to patients who've exhausted other treatment options in AML. So this will be the first use of Byzantrine in more than 25 years in a clinical setting, and that's pretty exciting.